it's kind of an artistic principle that anything that you want to do in an art form or in music or a different kind of music, um, you have to start from the inside. So, from the inside, from ah, 要么是从自己内心开始，要么是在，要么 but from from the point of view of let's say、uh, you invite me to your tradition, you invite me to your house.、Mm-hmm. I am a guest. I respect your house. I try and follow, but you show me. Oh, this is where I live. This is why I live this way. This is what, why I care about living in this way. I say, oh, really? Let me try that. And and there's so many different traditions from in the Silk Road from for, for thousands of years.、Uh, and to learn that. You have different people who have different houses. I take you here, and by doing this over and over again,、um, suddenly I feel we all feel we have many houses. You know,、yeah. and I say, "Oh, I remember the last time I came to your house, we tried this." Yes, and today you're going to show me something else, right? Good. So it's a process of learning and growth, and. Meeting at certain edges that makes you. After we get together, we each go back to our original house and think, "Gee, he showed me this beautiful painting, and maybe I can see something on my wall because I, maybe I can live differently." You do great calligraphy. Maybe I should think about calligraphy more, Malbitz, and so maybe I can think about, oh. You have you respect that tradition, you know. Maybe you can't put your feet up this way because that's really not a good thing. So maybe I, I, I'm more careful. Suddenly, I'm more sensitive to everything that's around me because you invited me to your house, and and so we change individually. We change as a group, and I think we feel that we belong more.、Uh, we're more human. We we feel like we're more better. More complete human beings, and I think, I think culturally, it's very hard to catch up to the, the technological changes that have happened in the last thirty years. You know,、uh, many fields have changed so much, so much, and in medicine, you kind of like you can only teach medical students how to learn because every five years, it's going to be completely different. So, but in culture, I think there's always a tension between old and new.、Uh, it can be a healthy tension. Uh, uh, it could be a creative tension.、Uh, I think old and new don't always like to live in the same house, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So, so, but if you really find a way for old and new to live in the same house,、uh, then something. New can come out that doesn't that is doesn't reject really either one, and I think that's really that's where culture is is becomes really interesting. I don't think there's any tradition that exists in the world, Tranto, that is not the result of successful invention. Every tradition is actually invented. So you Tranto is is a Chang job. So. So what? So that's. So for me,、uh, like for example,、uh, people were saying, you know,、uh, the person from Air China says, you know, each country really needs to learn a lot more about the other. But I think each country should also probably learn more about itself because the more we look into any tradition,、uh, you actually. My experience, our experience, is that we actually find、uh, within each tradition, the the deeper you go, you actually find elements of the whole world in it,、mm-hmm. and that's that's the that's the secret. So it's no longer a local geography, but you go, 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 you go
but at the same time, it st stimulates your imagination, Absolutely. And creativity. Absolutely, and it and it and the fear I think that people have is is losing the identity. Right. You know, says okay, you know, so the usual fear of something like you know um, McDonald's taking over the world says, wait a minute, what's going to happen to what's also on the Shifa? You know, I don't want to go to McDonald's. Either. But that's I think the fear. You can have economic domination, but I think that if you're if cultures don't um, I think if cultures evolve then and ex look at, in, at, at the whole world you always remain a very individual culture so knowledge does not make people m sort of uh, I think people are afraid of being swallowed up and losing their identity so the fear is not there you sh should be. Uh, I think yeah. that yeah. I think we have to fight that fear because as soon as you're afraid, okay. we become this way. And I think you can look at you know um, uh, easily European Union or the different states in the United States as you know. Oh, the federal government is taking over. I, you know, we're losing our identity, and it's. But actually, no. I think that I think there's finding that balance is really important. So the uh, your project, like Silk Road, is a combination of all these uh, cultures, yes, and the traditions. Mm -hmm. But you also create new forms of communications, uh, hopefully across nations and cross countries, cross cultures. Hopefully, yes, That's and uh, yes, and I That's think we. Creation. I think so. I think it's a, uh, well. It's like I think in some ways it tries to respond to. Uh, present day needs you know 60 years ago maybe there was no need for because everybody thought the world was was well it, actually 60 years ago it was very dynamic but I, I think but today because of the technological changes mm -hmm. we really need to have better ways of understanding so that the work is good M one of my models is Tang Chao Xi'an right Zhang An Yes. Many times? Uh, just once. I'm oh, going to go this in March again. again. Starting point of the Exactly. Group, yeah. Well, or it can get, you can say starting point, but also, you could also say, you know, if you look at like uh, Buddhism that came from India oh, to, yeah. to right. all the way to China, then to Japan, right. to Korea, to whatever. So it's, it's kind of, yeah. yeah. And or, um, so, so I think there's, in a way, once you start looking, it doesn't stop because influences just you you see more and more the the connections through the layers of time when did you first learn the word silk road um uh is that when you i think start your pro project or before that i think from two two points i went to um in the in the eighties, I started going to. I came to China, went to Japan a lot, and I think going to Nara, Kandao, uh, you, say Nara, just just a, Fu Fu Jiao, Dao, Tao Yi Ci Dao 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 Nara 的时候，啊，那里的博物馆有一个啊，有个琵琶，这个琵琶呢，有五条线。今天的琵琶，所有的琵琶只有四条线。那我说，就是就是世界上，就是唯一。OK， give me another three minutes。就所以，另外呢，有一个琵琶有五条线呢，是在敦煌的这个啊，表表表表在 cave in the caves of 敦煌。So basically， there's the there's the painting， there's the actual five stringed。Ah, so you're saying, how did it get there? And of course, it's like a Fu Jiao as well. And then you go to archaeology. Bus's the this ancient temple is Zoroastrian. So the temple, Zoroastrian temple, and Fu Jiao temple, they went to what the sun? Can't tell. Two are they were constructed often right on top of the other. So the new religion comes over old religion, and it moves. And I think the other point was going.
going to Jordan mm -hmm. uh, to go to, um, I met, uh, uh, I, I went to Petra, uh, and, and then Queen Noor asked me to give a, uh, a master class in Amman, in, um, Amman, and I went there and heard two not such technically gifted musicians, but in their heads, when you ask them why music, so poetic, more poetic than any student in a conservatory that I've ever met, but with, with not the technique. In the conservatory, huge technique, but you say, why do you do this? Mm -hmm. says, you know, what is this about? The poetry is not there. So I thought, this is incredible, because, so here's the same music, not even the traditional music, but here's music that people someplace else have a, a, such a deep sense of a uh, and, and I thought, wow. Then I started imagining, you know, what would happen if we could find out um, mm -hmm. talented people from everywhere. Right. So, and that's, you know. Okay. Just a few words. How how do you enjoy the all the Chinese musicians involving in your? School? Oh, fantastic! I'm so excited uh, to to meet Cheng Liqi, and because I this is Orville and and Bei Fang's friend, mm -hmm. and I know he's great. Ching is like the king of instruments, and and uh, Wu Tong is a is a good friend of of, of, of mine, and Zhao uh, Zhiping Lao Shi. We're going to play oh, one of his yeah, pieces. Yeah. So you know, it's just a lot of wonderful uh, old friends and new friends uh, mixing together. So that's you know, and I'm go also going to meet some wonderful students from the uh, uh, um, from the Beijing Conservatory. Mm -hmm. They're also going to join in. So we'll have fun. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Really.